hospital was very monotonous back in the day. That was the change in 1969 when Kappa Hospital took in five refugees from Northern Ireland. They were boys between the age of 10 and 12. Imagine I had to stop and look at that. Okay, sorry. I was 10 at the time with both legs and casts up to the knees. I was deadly in a wheelchair. Every night we would all meet in the boys' wards to play spin the bottle. There was a heightened ex excitement to our game with the arrival of the lads. We were enthralled and hung on every word they said. We learned how to make petrol bombs and we all thought they were the bravest lads ever. There was the added bonus of a kiss. At home I would play radio with my brother. It was all pretending we were driving a car. Two kitchen chairs and placing our feet against the fireplace was all that was needed. Um, sorry. That enabled us to lift two legs from the chair off the floor. That was necessary for driving fast and screeching around corners. There was a lot of sound effects needed. Most importantly for the driver, for he had to verbalize what we were doing. I hated when I was enjoying singing a song and Michael would change the station. There was pop, rock, or the news. I always used the same news story in the hope that I would get either a reaction or an explanation. A gorilla phoned the TV station today and claimed responsibility for the bombing. I would watch Michael out of the corner of my eye. He never looked overly interested or amazed. Usually he just changed the station. I did not want to seem stupid, but I could not understand why I was the only one on the planet who thought it was an amazing that a gorilla could talk. I could visualize him in the phone box making the call. 